Hey guys, it's Miss Farragut. The artwork that I just showed you is by James Rizzi. He's an American pop artist that lives in New York and he likes to draw um, buildings that have these really happy faces and so that's what we're going to be doing today. On your tables you should have the directions for today that look like this on James Rizzi Cities, just giving you the four steps that we're gonna do. And you should also have some inspiration pages that look like this, and we'll tell you all about some different ideas that you could use for your artwork. So let's go ahead and get started. The same rules are gonna apply as have been in the past couple of weeks. We're gonna do these just going for them in black marker. If you need to borrow one of mine on the Promethean card, you can come up and get one. Just make sure you put it back so we can sanitize it with Lysol when you guys are done, okay? If we're using black marker, that does mean that you're not going to be able to erase. So just go with it, okay? We've got this. If you make a beautiful oops, I want you to work with it. I'm not giving you a million pieces of paper because I know you can do this. Use a beautiful oops, turn it into something amazing, or flip your paper over and start again on the back. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, step number one for our James Rizzi cities are to draw rectangles for our buildings. So I'm going to get my black marker and I'm gonna start drawing rectangles on the left side of my paper, working my way to the right. I'm going to draw some that are big. Now remember, we're putting faces on these. So don't draw them too skinny because you're not going to be able to fit your beautiful faces that you're putting on these on your paper. I think I can fit one more right here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five rectangles on my paper, okay? I'll give you a second to do that. Your rectangles do not need to look exactly like mine. Now we're going to do some behind them. So I'm gonna do maybe one tall rectangle over to the left and down right here. And I think I could put one over here, up, over, and down. I'm gonna keep these kind of simple because I wanna be able to fit faces on all of these. I think if I do too many, I'm not gonna be able to fit faces. All right, step number two is to add some details to the top. So you're gonna add triangles and circles and these kinds of things to the top of your buildings to give them some fun details. So I'm gonna go to each one, maybe on this one, I draw a triangle and a circle. Maybe this one's got two circles on the top of it. This one, I'm gonna do a rectangle and a smaller rectangle and a circle. Get creative, just add a few details to the top of your buildings to make them interesting and have some fun with it. And a circle, I can't do too much on these because I put them in the front. So I'm just gonna put two here, a rectangle and a circle here a rectangle and a circle here, and maybe even a triangle on top I could do, that's fun. All right, the next step is to add some funny faces. So I have idea sheets here for you guys, and you can look and pick some eyes. So maybe I use these rectangle eyes on one of my buildings. Here's two rectangles. And then I'm gonna give it the eyelashes. Remember, you can always come up with your own funny faces. These are just to give you guys some ideas if you are stuck. I want you to have fun with this because that's the point, is to take a break in art class and have some creative fun. So then maybe I go, okay, what kind of nose is he gonna have? I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna give him a heart nose, that's fun. And then I'm gonna pick which mouth. Hmm. I'm gonna do this silly mouth right here. <laughs> He's cute. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and put faces on the rest of my buildings. All right, now that my buildings have their faces, I can do my uh, last two steps, which is drawing some windows and doors. You might not have a lot of room, so just do what you can. And then obviously at the end, we're gonna color baby color. All right, 
So let's get started on doing some windows. I'm just gonna add a few random little windows and doors. Right here I can fit. I'm gonna do an arch door with two handles. Right here I can fit a door. I might not be able to do doors on all of them, so I'm trying to keep that in mind, and that is okay. I'll do an arched one over here too. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I have room for windows. And you can have fun with your windows. Maybe they're long and rectangular. Maybe they're square, like a regular window. Like a window pane, maybe they are round. Let's see, I think I can fit one right here. Pretend that there's one back here. Can I give that one diagonals? Maybe there's one up here, up at the top. I think that's good. And then now it's time to add color and have fun with that sky. We are gonna be using colored pencils or crayons on this. Um, we are not using markers. Um, it just looks a lot better when you do your black and those colors really pop. So today I'm gonna use my colored pencils. You guys obviously can use what you have. Don't forget to put those black markers up when you're done. Okay, this is how my James Rizzy City turns out. Notice that I made it bright and colorful and even added if it was daytime or nighttime. Some of his pictures have nighttime on one side and daytime on the other. So you can most certainly do cool colors on one side for night and warm colors on the other side for daytime. Or you could just pick one or the other and make sure that they are bright and colorful because he is a pop artist and they are known for using lots of color. All right, guys, don't forget that I have uh, coloring pages on my blue chair for you to do when you are done and uh, behave for the substitute. All right, bye, guys.